It'll work for you. Wettermark Keith, the name you know and trust. It continues to be a hot real estate market in Chattanooga and all across the country for that matter. While that's great news for home sellers, it can be a little bit daunting because once you sold your home, where are you going to go? Lucky for you, you're watching 3 Plus G this morning because Mark Height with Mark Height Real Estate Partners joins us this morning. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you, Julie. I guess that's a frequent thing. You're hearing that people want to take advantage of this seller's market that we're in, but then what do they do? Absolutely. You know, um, we provide real estate solutions uh, and lots of times, you know, they can be about repairs or staging is what you think about. But the actual process of helping you find your next home is really a bigger challenge today than at any time in my 20 year history. I don't mean to suggest that things are taking place below board. That's not what I mean, but I would think this is where your knowledge of the community and the contacts and connections you have can come into play because maybe you'll hear about a house that's about to come on the market and you can let one of your customers know. Well, it, you're absolutely right. It was just like yesterday afternoon, uh, we uh, listed a property for sale um, and agreed to it, but there was a very specific neighborhood that this wants to live in. So, you know, a lot of times you see my commercials with a large team of people, but you may not really know what they do. Well, I actually have a call center right here on the south side here at Real Estate Partners with six full-time licensed agents. And what they do all day long is prospect for homes, not just for sale, but very often we have a, a search list where my buyer's agents and partners are listing what we're looking for. And we will reach out by phone, by text, even uh, direct mail to find the right home that's literally not on the market today. So, okay, so they're doing that. They're doing the prospecting. And then what? They give that information back to you, and then you can just kind of file that away. And when you know of a particular client looking for something, you know where to go? You know, we do it both ways. We like to get in front of the folks right up front um, so we understand what their hopes and wishes are and their time frames for selling. Um, you know, they may have a pending relocation or a work relocation coming up this summer. Not sure, hadn't thought about putting their house on the market at this time. Or they may be getting ready to downsize or unfortunately there may be a divorce coming up. All of these situations cause real estate to transfer and these homes are not on the market today, but they very well may be on the market tomorrow or next week okay. or at least available. What if you're somebody listening and you think, yeah, but I don't know if I can bank on that one. Do people ever think about going into like temporary housing until they find their next house? Absolutely. You know, we work with folks on two different fronts, either a short term rental or in some cases, um, we've had folks converting out to long term rental. I met with a lady we had sold her home several, two or several years ago and the maintenance uh, aging there. It was just not what she wanted to be doing in her late 70s or even physically could. So she was a long term rental perspective, but we put a family last week. Their home sold quickly. We had a contract on a home in 80 days. So they went into an Airbnb where they just put everything into storage and we found them the appropriate place to stay for a short term that included the pots and pans. And um, and so we gave them a pathway. And so that's what we really do, Julie, is find solutions for folks. What are you seeing too right now, Mark, with, with building? Because as I understand it, supplies are, are hard to get. But you know, there is a lot of dirt moving in our community. As a result of 10 good years of positive sales growth, there's a lot of investment in infrastructure in a variety of parts of our community. So we right now have oh, probably six or seven families that have homes that are under construction right now that we found their lot, we found a builder, got them rolling, um, and we'll put their house on the market somewhere in the 45 to 60 days before their home is going to be ready so that they can make one move door to door and they know exactly where they're going. New construction is a great option, uh, whether you're upsizing or downsizing right now. And we've got about a minute or so left, but is it wrong to use the term it's a seller's market? Because I think that might imply to buyers that they're getting a bad deal. That's not it necessarily, right? 
Well, what we term a seller's market uh, is statistically uh, not understood by most people. Um, historically, over the last 30 years, Julie, um, we consider six months of supply, that's five to six months, uh, to be um, a balanced market. So because inventory has decreased and because we have a um, still a strong demand because of great interest rates and improving job numbers, um, we have one month of supply uh, as of February. Okay. So that makes it a seller's market, but the offsetting features as it relates to interest rates make it a great time to lock in for a 15 or 30 year mortgage at these great rates. Okay, let me go ahead and share your number then with people. That way they can call you and find out which of your solutions is going to work best with them. It is Mar the Mark Height team at Real Estate Partners, as he mentioned, down on the south side. 265-0088 is the phone number online. It's markheighthomes.com. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you. James, your car was pulling to the right, and you came to Budget Break seeking alignment. What happened? They fixed it for the best price in town. His path was crooked, and now he is aligned. Budget Breaks.